Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 9. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to apply video transitions to your clips. The main purpose of a video transition is to make a smooth progression in and out of clips, and to make the transition smooth between two different clips. There are several ways to add transitions in ScreenFlow 9. The way that I typically do it is I select the clip, I right click or control click, and I select add starting transition. If I change my mind and also want an ending transition, I can just right click again and choose add ending transition. With the clip selected in the timeline, you can also go up to the edit menu and you'll see the options to add starting, add ending, or add both starting and ending transitions. To remove transition, you can right click or control click and select one of the remove options. In this case, remove starting and ending transitions. If you want to add a transition between two clips, well, you could add an ending transition on one. You could add a starting transition on the other. But the easiest way to create a transition between two clips next to each other is just to select one of the clips and just start dragging it over the other clip. You will see a transition is automatically created. If you ever want to change a transition, you can right click on it. You will have all the options here. You can select a new one. You can also remove it or you can click on this to show the transition inspector. Another way to bring up the transition inspector, if you just double click on any transition, you will see this window that pops up. If you click on this little arrow, you have some little options up here. One of them is favorites. If you hover your cursor over any transition, you will see a little star at the top. If you were to click on the star, that will add it to your favorites so you can quickly access all of your favorites. If you ever want to remove it from the favorites, just click the star again. When you go back, that favorite will be gone. If you want to select a new transition with the clip selected, just click on any transition. You will see this little preview option. Just click on that. You will see a preview of the transition. You can change any of the properties that are available for that. And you can just go through and select the ones that you want to use. And when you're ready, you can just click off and you will see the transition icon change for that. You have a new transition. Double click again if you ever want to change it. Now I will show you how you can change the default transition settings. So if I select this clip and right click or control click and choose add starting transition, whatever is added there is the default transitions. I can tell exactly what it is by double clicking on the transition you can see by this yellow line around it that it's cross dissolve and the duration is 1.0 seconds. To change the default transitions, I'll come up to the screen flow menu, go to preferences, select the second option, timeline, and you'll see right here, default transition. It's currently set to cross dissolve. I can select any one of these options. Maybe I'll go to page curl, default durations. If I go down here to transition, it's currently set to 1.0 seconds. I can just click on that and change it. Let's say to two seconds, I'll click off. Now if I select that clip and right click and choose add starting transition, if I double click on the transition, you'll see by the yellow line, it's currently set to page curl. So that is the new default and the duration is set to 2.0 seconds. And one more thing, if you look at the end of the transition, you will always see this black vertical line that indicates the end of the transition. And if you hover your cursor, you see it turns to the double arrow. So you can change the duration of any transition. You just drag that in. You will see the time below. It's going to 1.4, 1.3, and I can move the duration of it. My name is Mike Murphy, and that is how you add transitions in ScreenFlow 9. Cheers.